Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the uh, monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I was going to say the middle of the month. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into it, I wanted to get a little bit deeper into the month of March. So we're going to be pulling out the shells. Then we're going to get into the tarot. And quickly, we're going to get into Spirit's direct message for you. Okay, Libra? Uh, before we get into your reading, I also want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that have reached out for private consultations, I want to first thank you guys for being patient. And second, um, we are still trying to catch up to the past two months uh, in emails and DMs and Snapchats. Um, so thank you guys for being patient and try the best you can uh, not to get frustrated. I understand that everyone's going through certain things and uh, it is important, um, but like I said, it, it's, it takes up a lot of time and we have a thousand things going on. Um, when I say we've been busy, you guys have no idea how busy, and I thank you guys for that. I love you guys for that, um, but yeah, be a little bit patient. I know that lately I've been seeing a lot of people posting on my Instagram, like, I emailed you, no answer. I don't want you guys to think I'm ignoring you guys. I would never do that. Um, it's just that it's been a bit of a challenge, Okay. All right, my lovelies. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. On TikTok, I mostly upload uh, daily readings. Um, so you guys can, you know, if you're trying to get some type of uh, clarity or something that's going on in your life at that present time, you can always follow me on TikTok um, to see the readings that go up daily. Uh, on my Instagram, I'm more active on there. I show a bit of witchy tips as well as... Um, things that I'm doing throughout the day just to keep you guys updated, etc. So you guys can follow me on there as well. Okay, my lovelies, with all that spiel, let's get into your reading. So this is Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Give me one second. This is like, I don't like this light. Let me change it. Give me one second, you guys. It's throwing me off. I don't know if you guys, okay, there we go. It was throwing me off. It was giving me dark vibes. Um, okay. And I'm a dark. I, I'm a very dark. I love the darkness. Um, but it was just throwing me off my energy. I don't know. Okay. Could be that or spirit was like, uh-uh. <laughs> All right. Libra. Someone raising Venus. Oh, we only got three shells here. Okay. Three. Three is a very powerful, lucky number, Libra. I work in threes, by the way. So what they're showing me here is that for a lot of you guys, you may be experiencing, and I want to say this is something that you've been feeling for the past three, four months maybe, where you're going towards something, but there's a bit of confusion. There's a bit of scattered energy. There is a bit of a feeling of what the hell is going on type of energy. Now, what they're showing me here is you may have been incurring or experiencing certain blockages. This could be in love, as an example. A new connection that unfolded where you felt very drawn to the person could have had a hiccup and it didn't fully manifest to its potential. For others of you, it could be that you're having difficulty in regards to your relationships miscommunication, misunderstandings, and it's almost as if you're like ready to put your hands up and be like, I'm done. Um, and what they're saying is this is not coincidence. There's a purpose behind it. And that purpose is your focus, Libra. So what, what we're seeing here is there is a line that is a bit of a zigzag or a bit of, you know, going not in a direct way. And what they're showing me is almost as if the truth of the matter is you may be avoiding something. Now, I'm getting very, very strong messages in regards to love. So for some of you guys, it could be a connection where you felt there was major potential and it just hasn't happened or it hasn't developed as quickly as you would want. 
And what spirit is telling you is there is something that you're avoiding in regards to that connection. For some of you guys, you could be the runner, meaning you could be the one that is not wanting to step up to the plate and be the best man or the best woman that you're meant to be. So you're going around this connection or avoiding this connection by distracting yourself with other people, by distracting yourself or scattering your energy towards other things. And what they're telling you is you can do this all you want, Libra. You're just wasting time because at the end of the day, you will end up where you're meant to end up in. Okay? Now, this can also be career-wise. For some of you guys, it could almost feel like you're confused or you don't know exactly what the future holds for you or what exactly it is that you want to be doing in the next 10 years as an example. And what Spirit is telling you is you need to bring it down. You need to bring it to you, meaning go within and figure out what it is. There is a restlessness that you're experiencing, Libra. And this is there's a purpose behind this restlessness. It is Spirit shaking you up and telling you, hey, wake up, figure it out. What is it that you want out of life? What is it that you want out of your career? What is it that you want to do in the next five years in the company that you're at? Are you happy there? If you're not, what is it that you're doing to change that? If you're unhappy where you're at right now in regards to your career or in regards to your financial stability, what is it that you're doing to better yourself? There is this restlessness that's going on in you and for some of you guys especially those of you guys that feel a bit stuck or feel like you just haven't been able to progress they're trying to shake you up and wake you up and tell you libra stop procrastinating get off your ass and start making things happen for yourself for no one else but for yourself do you see what i'm saying um now i do see you guys going towards uh, a lot of growth and advancement but they're showing me i want to say the last week of March, the beginning of April, there's going, it's almost like things start to fall into place where you're like, and, and for some of you guys, they, this could even be like um, synchronizations. This could be angel numbers. This could be having dreams, very lucid dreams. These are messages that are coming through that spirit is trying to guide you through this process. Uh, I see a lot of you guys and they're telling me for a lot of you guys you're dealing with this restlessness because the truth of the matter is you're finding yourself, Libra. And that is a heavy message because I know the work that it takes when we're trying to when we're trying to reconnect with our soul, when we're trying to find our purpose, when we're trying to um, find ourselves and really understand who we are. Do you see what I'm saying? And for a lot of you guys, it could be that up until now, you've been doing things just on everyday basis, just because to survive. For others of you, it could be that you've been living by others' expectations or responsibilities because other people rely so much on you. And I feel that in this coming month and the next coming month, it's going to be about re like finding yourself all over again, figuring out what it is that works for you and what is not. But this is in a uh, in a selfish way, and I don't mean it in a negative way. Sometimes it's necessary for us to be selfish because it brings the focus back to us. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, so try the best you can not to distract yourself or not to allow other people to distract you, Libra. Uh, especially in the month of April, they're telling me. It's about finding yourself and knowing what it is exactly that you want. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be, you know, the fact that you guys are indecisive or that you feel when it comes to making choices, you kind of step back and you're like, I'm not going to make a choice. I'm just going to let the universe or I'm going to let God figure it out and then they'll let me know. And, and Spirit is telling you, no, 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 you're the one that has the power. So you have to be more assertive in the decisions you make. All right. Heavy message for Libras. All right, let's see. Spirit, what are the messages for Libras? You guys get out of your head. You guys are naturally overthinkers, but I see you guys really overthinking, tossing and turning. Um, just, you know, very, very 
in your head about something. We're going to find out what that is. For some of you guys, it could be relationships, uh, partnerships, connections. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck here, we have the sun card. So the sun card is illumination. And this is exactly what they're showing me. Um, it, it's almost as if there is a purpose behind being lost, if that makes sense to you guys. It's almost like sometimes we have to get lost to understand or figure out that this is not where we want to be. Do you see what I'm saying? With the sun card, things are going to be illuminated to you. Things are going to be shown to you. A relationship could almost, a relationship or a specific individual may be highlighted. It could be that you're around certain people and they're always talking about this person and you're like, why can't I get them off my mind? That type of energy. And what Spirit is telling you is they're, they're, they're pushing you. They're pushing you either towards this illumination, this understanding, this soul recognition for some of you guys. Uh oh, not necessarily a bad thing, but it's always heavy. <laughs> All right, your first card here is the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, the Five of Pentacles could represent lack. It could represent the feeling of unworthiness. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been either trying to avoid a connection, someone that really has pulled the strings on your heart, but there may be certain insecurities about yourself that are coming up. This could be the feeling of unworthiness or vice versa. It is a general reading. It could be them that are not really wanting to come towards this connection or have been avoiding this connection because they still have work to do. Soul work. They still need to find their worth or the understanding of their worth. There is, you know, the sun is blessings, it's bountiful, it is um, amazing energy. It is abundance. And this is the opposite. This is a lack of. So for some of you guys, it could be a connection where um, you're intimidated or they're intimidated. Now, this is your card here, Libra, the King of Swords. So with the King of Swords, um, I feel that you guys, like I said, you guys are very much in your head. And what Spirit is telling you is uh, don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze. And they're telling you, listen to your heart, Libra. Listen to your heart. Um, a lot of the times, it's almost like when things get really difficult, we have, an, you know, we have this thing where we overanalyze and it kind of keeps us numb uh, from making or taking any action because we're confused. And sometimes it's, it's necessary to think with our head. In your situation, they're telling you, get out of your head. Listen to your heart. If something is pulling at your heart, something, someone is, you know, really, there is a deep connection here. They're telling you it's not going to unfold uh, by the grace of the universe. You need to take action. Your next card here is judgment, making a decision. I see you guys, for the month of March, there's going to be a decision that is going to be needed to take on your part. Now, if this is in regards to a relationship or a partnership um, that has been challenged or someone walked away from this connection, out of fear is what they're telling me. Um, if this was you, the one that was being left, they are coming back around and trying to contact you, trying to open up communication, basically. And what they're telling you here is stand your ground and be firm and honest in regards to your expectancy of this relationship moving forward. Meaning, I'm not going to sit here and wait for you to figure out if you want to be with me or not. Either you're certain or you're not. Now, if this was you, the one that walked away from this connection or other people got involved here with the five of pentacles, you're the one that's going to have to make the decision of where this goes. Do you walk away from it? Do you walk away from this opportunity or this person and 
listen to your head and later on deal with regret? Or do you put aside people's opinions, what they think you should be doing or shouldn't be doing, or what they think of this individual personally, and do you say, fuck it, I'm going after what I want and what my heart is telling me? Do you see what I'm saying? The sun is happiness. So, do with that what you will. Your next card, the Eight of Cups. So yeah, I see some of you guys walking away from a divine connection. Uh, there's a lot of like synchronizations. They keep telling me synchroniza synchronizations and angels or spirit guides guiding you guys. It's almost like for some of you guys, you were at a point in your life where perhaps you were doing certain toxic things uh, when this meeting happened or when this person came into your life. It changed your perspective or it opened up your mind. Uh, it was almost like it felt very like a soul connection. Um, and there was hiccups or blockages along the path. And with this judgment card, you know, you see a lot of people down here. I feel that a lot of people could have got involved or, you know, put their opinions. Um, and you were like, fuck it, I'm not dealing with this. Or your person could have been like, fuck it, I'm not dealing with this anymore. What they're telling you is you guys have the potential for something very strong here. Uh, oftentimes, very strong unions or very strong, powerful partnerships soul contracts are never easy. So I hope this gives you clarity. I hope that you become much more assertive in the decisions you make and to understand, fully understand Libra, that it is up to you to make things happen for yourself, that it is up to you. It's, I feel frustrated. I feel like a lot of your decisions have a lot to do with people around you versus versus it being about you. And there is a need for you to outgrow that and to learn to put yourself first. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we will see each other. Oh, Jesus, I almost forgot you guys. <laughs> this happened to me with Taurus. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for reminding me. All right. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you. What is Libra's direct message for this month of March 2021? Direct message for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. And you have 12. This is Everyday Worries, Turbulation commotion. This is people's intentions being hidden, people not being very completely honest or transparent with you, or people giving you intentional misinformation. So be mindful about that, Libra. Um, kind of they're showing me almost like in this picture here, stillness, right? You see this owl over here looking around, you know, wanting to see your stir up shit. And then this one's just still. It's almost like you need to embody this energy of stillness, of quieting your mind and just paying attention to people's actions. Is it matching their words? All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. We'll see each other soon. Wish you guys the best. Love you. And see you guys soon. Bye.